Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, there's Dean and there's Scott. But don't just sit there, my wee pirates. Come on, let's get busy. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Your turn, Dean. Cool. That's beautiful. Now, we've got Dean and we've got Scott. And someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> Who's coming home to Granny Murray, Scott? Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh, yes, it's Rudy with Jack. Hello there. Rudy, hello. Hi, Granny Murray. And Jack. Oh, <laughs> Come on, my dad. That's the way. Hello, my boys. In <laughs> you come. Oh, it's been raining cats and dogs out there. Well, there's some funny wee creatures in here too, Rudy. <laughs> We've been doing face painting to cheer ourselves up, haven't we, boys? Yeah. But now Jack's here, we'll do something new. Let's dress Claude up for a sunny day and we'll pretend it's beautiful sunshine outside. We can go and sit in the shade. Oh, oh. good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe how miserable and wet it is outside. Oh, I know. It's good weather for ducks and carrots, as my mother used to say. Oh, that's a funny expression. Hey, what do you call the crazy duck? Oh, I don't know, Wayne. Daffy? Mm-mm. <laughs> Quackers. <laughs> oh, when it's raining, it's nice to be reminded of the sunshine. Don't forget your sun cream, Claude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet your Claude must be the warmest person in River Sea Fingal. And the coolest. I like your shades, Claude. <gasps> What's that? Dad, <gasps> this is for you. Let's have a look. A mobile phone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, it's a seashell. <laughs> that's why I can hear the sea in it. Oh, that's great. I'll take that with me. Here's a cuddle before I go. Yeah, you have a good day. Yeah. See you later, guys. Come on, then. Bye-bye. Bye, Dad. Now remember, when it's raining, it's always nice to be reminded of the sunshine. <laughs> Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today. I'm walking my shoes through the city views. I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms and I'm singing my way through the city's charms. I get in there, it's just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always go the way I know, but can you tell me the way I go? Okay, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the market. I'm on my way to work today. I'm going this way and that away. Hello, cobbles. Hello, train. Hello, roadworks. Hello, tram. Hello, sweeper. Hello, bag. Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. Now what? Oh, that's right, I need to get changed for work. <laughs> And ready to go. Oh, I hope this weather doesn't put people off from coming to my stall. Oh, hi, Rudy. Oh, hello, Dr. Juno. How are you feeling this morning? Oh, terrible. I'm cold and wet, and I've just stepped into a great big 
puddle. What must you do if it's raining cats and dogs? Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, what you don't step in a poodle? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in no mood for jokes, really. I just want to quickly get what I came for and just go home and change my socks. Oh, quite right, Doc, quite right. What would you like? Can I have a pineapple, please? Ah, good choice. A tropical fruit for a rainy day. Afraid you're going to have to wait, though. My delivery's been held up by the bad weather. Well, I'm not coming back out in this. Well, well it might have cleared up by then. Oh, I doubt it. Oh, come on, Doc. I'm just trying to cheer you up. Oh. I know. I'm sorry, Rudy. I'm not grumpy at you. It's just rotten weather. Look, I'll come back once I've changed my socks. OK, bye. <laughs> I bet your dad's having a far more cheerful time at Granny Murray's. I love to skip the river sea tingle, river sea tingle, that's for me. Here we are. Just because it's raining outside, Jack, doesn't mean we can't have a nice sunny day in our picture, does it? No. I think we'll call this Granny Murray's Sunshine Island. I hope your dad doesn't get soaked in all that rain today, Jack. I hope so too. Oh. It must be pouring out there. I know. I wonder how dad's doing. Are you having fun, Daddy? Hey, Chuck Louie. Oh, listen, I've got a great joke for you. When can four people get underneath an umbrella and not get wet? When it isn't raining. <laughs> I don't think making jokes about the weather is going to have anyone laughing today, Rudy. It's impossible to have fun when the weather's like this. Let's go. See you later. Bye. Right, time for me to get down to some hard work. Dooby dooby doo. I make it look easy. What I do be do be do, and what I do is sell to you and you and you all of the veggies for a stew. But it's more than meets the eye. What I do for you as I buy and buy, while you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat. And the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes It's there for you The market stalls are there to view Oh the market, the market What a wonderful place The hub of the people The smiles on each face oh, The market, the market Come look around the hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling, cheap or dear The market, the market, I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place Hi, Rudy. Oh. Special delivery. Tina, thank goodness you made it. Oh, well, I almost didn't. Half the roads are closed. Now, who do you want these pineapples? Let me take them right off you now. Oh, thanks again. Hey, what do you call a pineapple with a tomato on it, Ted? Ah, uh, no jokes today, Rudy. I'm not in the mood. Oh, I thought you liked my jokes. Oh, I do. But not today. <laughs> I'm beginning to wish I'd have stayed with Jack at Granny Murray's this morning. I've never met so many grumpy people. Oh, I'm sorry, Rudy. I just want to go home and soak in a nice hot bath. <laughs> I'd have thought the last thing you would have wanted to see was more water. <laughs> oh, that is not funny, Rudy. <laughs> bye. Oh, bye. Oh, crumbs. Nobody today's got a sense of humour. <laughs> I hope Jack's still in a good mood. I love to skip in river How's the socks? Oh, my socks are fine. 
Where are the pineapples? Look! Oh, Tina's brought them all round. <laughs> oh, one of these will soon cheer you up. There's plenty to choose from. Right. Oh, no. No. Look, these are all too hard, Rudy. Have you got any riper ones? Here you go. By tomorrow. This one will be all juicy and yellow and gorgeous inside. Tomorrow? I'm not coming back tomorrow again. Look, the weather forecast is for rain, you know. Well, you could always buy it now and then take it home to ripen. Oh, very well. Oh, but it's quite heavy. Look, I'll come back later and collect it once I've finished the rest of my shopping. All right, Doc. Don't worry. I'll keep it safe for you. Oh, glum, glum, glum. I'm trying my best to put a smile on me customers' faces, but they just keep on getting glummer and glummer. What am I doing wrong? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's with Jack. At eight o'clock, I arrived for work at Castle Market. It was pouring with rain, so everybody had their umbrellas up. Dr. Juno was my first customer. She was grumpy because of the horrible weather. She just stepped in a puddle and was in no mood for my jokes. She couldn't buy a pineapple as my delivery had been held up by the weather. She agreed to come back later but wasn't very happy about it. At 10 o'clock, Chuck and Louie arrived. They were both down in the dumps. I tried to cheer them up with some of my jokes, but I just made them glummer. At 12 o'clock, Tina arrived with my pineapples. She'd had a terrible morning in her taxi and wouldn't even listen to one of my jokes. She left in a grump too. At 1 o'clock, Dr. Juno came back to buy her pineapple but didn't think any of them were ripe enough. But I found her a nice juicy one and she said she'd collect it after she'd finished her other shopping. But she wasn't pleased about having to come back yet again. Another unhappy customer. Now remember, when it's raining, it's always nice to be reminded of the sunshine. When it's raining, it's nice to be reminded of the sunshine. The sunshine. What can I use to remind people of the sunshine? <laughs> my sunshine fruits. That's it. I can use my stall to put a smile back on everybody's faces. <laughs> it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? Yes, as sure as we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do, I'm working for I'm gonna do it He's gonna do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna sort it He's gonna start it I'm gonna do the job on time like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Oh, <laughs> that should do the trick Sunshine on a rainy day <laughs> Wow, look at this Chuck It's like something you would see on a tropical island <gasps> You really think so? Yeah, this looks cool Rudy Just looking at it, it's brought a smile to my face And a chin to my trumpet <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me please. I've been waiting all day for this! A sunshine calypso party! <laughs> and here's your pineapple, Dr. Juno. Here you go. Oh, thanks, Doc. No, thank you, Rudy, for bringing the smiles back to our faces. Oh, Rudy! Oh, this is more like it! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, at last, everybody's happy. Oh, I wish Jack could see how everybody's laughing and dancing. <laughs> Let's stick on all our pictures. Mm. Oh, what have you got, Jack? A speedboat. Look at this, everybody. Oh, nice deck chairs, relaxing in the sun. Oh, Jack. You've got a wee smudge of paint on you. Come here, my darling, oh, and I'll Michael. wipe it off before Dad comes home. Oh, yeah, I'm really coming home. <laughs> yes, my treasure. Soon. Ready? Come away in. Someone to see you, Jack. Hello, Dad. mate. Give us a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you had a great time with Granny Murray. Yeah. We certainly did. Go on. Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. Oh, pleasure, my darling boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. 
I remembered what you said. When it's raining, it's nice to be reminded of the sunshine. And it saved the day. Oh, thanks, Rudy. Well, we'd better get you two home. <laughs> Come on, mate. Looking forward to next time. <laughs> Me bye too. Bye. Hey, come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking. really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a sunbather because we were trying to forget it was raining outside and the children all had their faces painted in bright colours. After Rudy left for work, we painted a huge desert island on the wall with a great big sun in the sky to keep us all smiling. Jack painted a deep blue sea but the fun really started when we took our musical instruments out for a Sunshine Island Calypso dance party. Everyone was laughing and smiling and making as much noise as possible. I felt like I was on a real tropical island. Later on, Jack and I added some finishing touches to the painting. We stuck on a sun umbrella and even put a speedboat in the sea. At the same time as we were decorating our desert island, Rudy was decorating his stall. He remembered what I told him when it's raining, it's nice to be reminded of the sunshine. When everyone saw his smiley tropical sun, they started to smile too and had a Calypso dance party, just like the one we had here. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. <laughs> I love you.